Okay, so today we're going to talk about the last improve stage. So we did, we set our goal of using verbal collaboration to increase your performance using the Chromebooks. And last time we said we were going to use Google Classroom. Mm -hmm. And you said you were going to use it for a review. And I think you've done that twice now, right? Okay, so we had two tests since we talked last. So you implemented it. How did you feel like it went? <laughs> It was really good just because they're able to work at their own play pace and then get a lot of like instant feedback yeah. um, throughout the time. And so. like today, the one you did that we watched today, you said that they actually were using Google Slides that you usually use in class to yeah. review. Yeah, so but usually I'll, it's like a lot of stop and go and stop and go and... So you'll have some people that get done really quickly, mm -hmm. some that take a little longer, and then there's just like downtime for some, and that was not effective. But yeah, I just put it on um, Google Classroom this time, mm -hmm. and they were able to work at their own pace. But then I had um, a, an activity for the ones who did finish early for them to yeah. work on afterwards. So that gave everyone time to work at it at their mm -hmm. own pace, but not to be left you know, with nothing to do at the end or there was something more effective yeah. at the end for them to do. And when they did that, um, the assignment we looked at with the Google Slides, when you had them, did they collaborate at all on any of the part of that review using Google Classroom? They, well, yeah, I just had them talk with each other about some if they had questions and everything. Okay. So. so that was good because they were able to, you know, talk with the people around mm -hmm. them. Now, do, do you think that the student test scores improved at all? Do you think it helped any using the Chromebooks to review, or do you think it was just the same as whatever? I think it was about? helpful because they were able to get, like I said, more feedback, and they were able to use their time more wisely, and they were able to practice more, so they just got more out of their time. Did you see any like concrete improvement at all? as far as test scores from the one you did last week from the common assessment. Remember we did the, we talked about the common assessments when we made our goals. So did you see any improvements from the common assessment to maybe how they're performing on the last test? Yeah, there were a few of them that did better, um, like especially like the lower ones, mm -hmm. just because they were able to um, get more practice in yeah. the whole time. And instead of, like I think before they felt rushed whenever right. we did it, to get their own pace. Yeah. Um, do you think? Do you think that the students? Um, do you think that the students were more engaged? Yeah, because they had something to do the whole time, and they knew that. I mean, they weren't having to like, like I said before, stop and go, stop and yeah. go, and so they were able to. Work, I mean, I just think it was a lot nicer for them to be able to work at their own pace instead of thinking, oh, you know, everyone's waiting on me like mm -hmm. I'm the last one done kind of thing. There was no, like, nothing like that this time. No pressure. Yeah. Um, last time we talked about this checklist about how to best work in a cooperative learning environment, which you've started doing a lot. Um, so... You clearly understand the learning structure and the material. That's not something you struggle with at all. No. Did you feel like there was any part of this that was tricky or maybe that we thought could have used some work? So, like, your written expectations of how they should act, talk, move while they... Do you feel like the kids had a pretty good idea of what they were supposed to be doing yeah. during their activity? Because they were able to, like, I verbally went over it, but then they had, because it was in classroom, they had the instructions in, like, two different places like on paper and in the post that okay. I made, so. And I guess you had enough plan to where if some people finish early. Now see with me, that's always one area I wish I could improve on, as if people finish early having more to work on. Yeah, and so we did a Google, a, was it a, um, a Quizlet Live? Mm -hmm. Like they knew that they had that, that was gonna come afterwards. Okay. And so that, I put a link 
to the set that they were going to be using for that right. in there. So it's like if they got the sooner they got done, the more they were able to practice yeah. that, which would benefit them when they played Quiz It Live later on. Um, do you think that the lower level students had enough time to finish everything, just like your higher level students? Yeah, yeah they did. Yeah. Okay, great. Now, and there was no pressure for them this time because, like, it's not like everyone, you know, people would be finished working and then, you know, they moved on to something else. Like, everyone was just looking at a computer screen. Mm -hmm. And so that was nice for them, or, you know, the Google Chrome screen. Yeah. And so they were able, it's not like, they weren't able to tell as much, like, oh, I mean, you know, if like you were behind or the two people that yeah, had to finish. Yeah, compare it. So that's what was nice. Um. So let's go back to the goal we started at the very beginning, which was using verbal collaboration on the Chromebooks to increase student performance in the common assessment. You've already said that you feel like they're performing better when they use the Chromebooks to review rather than just using a paper pencil test review. Um, now, do you think, like, you've said you thought it went well, but do you think that's something you're going to continue to do? Yeah, because, I mean, I even had a student verbally say today, I don't like, I don't like to just sit on a computer and just have paper and pencil. I like to interact. Mm -hmm. And so this is kind of like the best of both worlds. Oh. That's... And so they're able to do all three things. Like, they're able to practice writing, yeah. which is what they have to do for the test. They're able to, you know, look at a computer screen some mm -hmm. and not... That takes away from, you know, writing, which just right. gets kind of monotonous. But then they're able to interact as well, which is what they really like to do. So, well, that's perfect. Were there any roadblocks? Anything that came up that you thought could have gone better? Um, I think I would have simple. I think I would have, the only thing I would have done is broken the Quizlet into two separate things. I think it was too much. I think I gave them too much to review in one set and so I think I would have broken it up into two Why sets. Why did you think it was too much? Just because it went over two like a few different concepts mm -hmm. and so I, I would have wanted them to focus on just like one or two concepts in one and then one or two concepts in the other one. So when gotcha. we did the Quizlet Live I would have broken they would have broken that up as well by doing that. Right. So, um, so that was our, our original goal. Do you think that there's anything now that you've started using more of the Google Classroom as a review that you would change about the goal or make it different? Or do you think you would keep going as it is to increase that verbal collaboration and using the Chromebooks to review to increase test scores? Would you stick with that or would you change it? What would you do? Um, I would keep going as keep going. it is because, I mean, it's doing, I mean, it's working well so far. And then I would just work to enhance it. How do you think ways. you could better monitor the goal? So, like, to see if it was working. To see if it's worth it to put all that effort into creating those assignments. How would you, how would you monitor the goal the same way? Just look at test scores or? That and then just look at, I mean, just as I monitor throughout the activity, seeing mm -hmm. that they're engaged. Okay. I mean, and I guess engagement thing. is them being working and participating. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right. Last thing. So from here on out, we've made adaptations and we have said we have our actions to go keep going on the same goal, measure engagement as well instead of just test scores. But should we keep doing this along and along? Um, keep going. What do you think? I think so because the more I enjoy meeting. I think it's helped me out because honestly, I've learned more about Google Classroom and trying to get more implemented in my room. Anything, I mean, you want the stu the students benefit from collaborating, and yeah, it's the same for us. So, okay, so our goal really hasn't changed much. We've added Google Classroom into it. First, it was just verbal collaboration. Um, so. What would you like to do before, like, before we assessed how progress went again? Like, let's say before the common assessment at Christmas, what would you like to improve on? Just according to that, like using the Chromebook in your class, what would you like to do better with that? Something that allows us to, I don't know how to word it best, like 
that allows us to be engaged like all together mm-hmm. but still gives everyone time to think at their own pace right and so something that kind of puts that all together so we can get some like instant feedback mm-hmm. but that allows everyone to think so I think like I think embedding like a Nearpod I oh get that's it. funny that you said Nearpod because I was thinking about Nearpod I've heard a lot of people in Spanish classrooms mm-hmm. use that have you ever used it before in your room? I have. And then Bronson well? has a lot. Bronson has a lot. Yeah. But Nearpod, I think it's just like anything else. Like once you get more comfortable mm-hmm. with it as a resource, then you're yeah. able to crank out more. From a right now, it just takes a while to make something. But the more yeah. I use it, the It's like anything. Be. The more you use it, the easier it is. 